awesome thing about living with Dara. You just never know what you'll find in the fridge. So this is an octopus and she has a dish that she is practicing for her upcoming episode. There it is, octopus. What? 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 I'm back in the studio, it's morning. I stayed up till 1.30 a.m. last night working on the vlog. Just need to do a couple tweaks before I upload it. Today is a good day, I have my smoothie. We are heading out now. I have to take Dara to pick up some groceries for her test run with the octopus. Sometimes I call Dara, Dora. <laughs> The nice lady that just helped me back in that area, she just called me doll. Hey Dara, so what's going on? I'm making octopus. Oh yeah? Where would we find that? Right here. So what are you doing now? I am massaging and tenderizing the octopus, but I think it's already, I bought it already tenderized, so. So there's actually someone that has a job to massage and tenderize the octopus before it leaves the store? Yeah. Cut all the little suction. They go all the way to the end. Just doing a little social media reorganization. I've had my Twitter account since 2009. I've sporadically posted on it, changed out my profile picture. I'm really going to up the ante on Twitter and Instagram. So come along, follow me on Twitter at I am Scott Stewart. The conundrum, Instagram. I have a username at I am Scott Stewart, but I haven't used it in a long time and I can't log back into my account because I can't remember the password. Now, when I go to reset the password, what they do is send it to an old email, scott at orbitalpictures.com, which I have no access to. So it goes around and around and around. Hamster on a wheel running around looking for some food. Listen. Twine. 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 I'm going over to Surfa's to get some twine. Dara needs to wrap something up and put it in the oven. So as her private driver, I'm going to get the twine. Let's go. I'm still in shock. I just experienced something in LA traffic. Rarely, rarely happens. I'm gonna have to check the lunar calendar because I think it's a special eclipse happening tonight. Come up to the stop sign. I stop. The guy ahead of me, it's his turn to go. He flashes his lights at me and wants me to go. There was a lady crossing the street, so I couldn't go, couldn't go, couldn't go. Theoretically, he should have gone, but he waited for me. Thank you, guy in 1989 Honda Civic. <laughs> This is what it looks like when I'm looking for twine. There it is, twine. Yeah, cup of tea. I've arrived back home with the twine. I can hardly wait to see the joy in Dara's eyes when I give her the twine. Thank you. So I just got a message on Facebook from a girl that was in my acting class. Her name was Wendy. In class, we workshopped this movie that she was involved with called The Bullfighters. She's been nominated for Best Actress in the movie. I did not play the part in the movie. Congrats to her on the nomination. It's snack time. Today's snack is brought to you by cheddar cheese, apples, strawberries, and some sort of pretzely things. I wanted to talk to you guys about comfort zones. Now the thing is, we all have our comfort zones. Your comfort zone is your friend, but it's also the kind of friend that stops you from going for a run on the beach. Nah, let's just stay home and watch TV. Sit around and eat this bowl of ice cream. It's a good friend, but it doesn't really help you in the long run. Gotta bust it down. You gotta know where it is all times of the day so you can step outside of it, move out of it. You know where it is so you can always come back. That's not really the issue. The issue is moving through it, getting out side of it, expanding your comfort zone, connecting with the universe, going for a walk, saying hello to people, expanding who you are. So at the end of the day, you can say, yes, I have challenged myself today. Yes, I knew that I was afraid to do that, but I took the challenge anyway, and I've expanded and grown as a human. <laughs> Finally 
figured out what it is. All day long, I've just been dragging it. I've been slow, haven't wanted to do this, haven't wanted to do that. When I've been talking, it's really, uh, uh, really hard to get the words out. What it is, I stayed up way too late last night. I need my sleep. I have since I've been a little baby Scotty boy, but I think I have a cure for it. Back there, behind the trees, is a building. <laughs> Back in the car, after my venture to Lemonade, where I had the buttermilk chicken sandwich with some strawberry rhubarb lemonade, and I'm back in the game, I'm gonna go for a bicycle ride. Let's make it the bicycle ride. Okay, everybody, meet Elena's bike. This is a leopard print broom. <laughs> <laughs> 